Or would you prefer to have your astronauts individually or mixed up into a big bucket? And we're having space bucket Sunday here. Sorry about the glare. We've just got some gorgeous light on this front studio. And I'm comparing space bucket playmats. In the back here is the one that came from the new Daron Worldwide Trading Space Exploration Series 20 piece bucket set. And in the front, the one that came with my used lot that had the uh, older lander format. Here we're seeing its crediting corner. Awesome Kids LLC. Um, no mention of a Hing Fat toy. And believed to be mid 80s in uh, production. Uh, came with uh, a bunch of white astronauts as well. You, you only see the uh, space bucket guys usually in, in gray. Like the, uh, the new ones here. We'll take a look at those in a different video. There's some interesting differences between the new and former production and it extends to the playmats. I'm fascinated by playmats. Um, and the ultimate is of course the uh, giant moon mountain terrain piece from Operation Moonbase. Uh, this is just sort of for uh, school kids or whatever by comparison or as the forms became less marketable they had to sort of cheapen it down a bit and amongst other things we can see here that the one that came with the uh, awesome kids logo on it is slightly bigger than Hang Fat's current version. It even uh, overlaps a little bit on that side as well. The moon terrain pictured is about the same up until the mountains. And then for whatever reason on the current version, uh, Hing Fat repainted their uh, planetary array. And it was actually somebody else suggested when you put this thing down, you have this part sticking up and it changes the whole it turns it into a diorama so it's not just a mat it's a potential diorama uh, backing as well and that's that's that is interesting and it's also interesting to note that the pattern of cratering here on uh, on the awesome kids version is pretty much the same as what hang fat has on their new version although far less detailed you don't see the little nooks and crannies there, or as many of them between them. They cut down the amount of uh, little craters in there too. I think there's a few less craters. Uh, all in an effort to cheapen down the set. And when I made, made my initial blog post about it, I, I, I trumpeted how their current flag only has a, a, a decal for the flag on one side. This, this flag and, and rock pile formation goes back to easily the mid-60s, probably long before that. Uh, it was turning up in Army Man sets, and it's an easy enough thing to replicate. But once I got them out early, I realized, you know what? Two of the examples I have uh, only have the uh, flag on one side. And I actually showed you an older example first. The one way that I can tell them apart is that the current one doesn't fit that well. Um, and the rock piles on those three are the same. This is the one that's different. This came with the awesome kids set with the rover and the lander. And its flag is on both sides. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's an attribute to look for if you're trying to find an older set. So they'll all have the flag with it. Make sure the flag is on both sides of the of the flagpole. Although again, these things so they're in so many sets that it's it's they're to be taken for granted almost. And sort of as an offshoot of how I can tell this is the new one because it doesn't fit that well. I'll try to stick it back in nicely. Uh, the two lunar landers are 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 different. 
in, in very subtle ways. The easiest one to note is that if you take the new one here that came from the Darren Industries bucket, it rattles. Oh, thrust your chets there aren't snugly in place. The older one, they're all nice and snug in their spots, no rattling. Um, one of the trade offs, I'm going to have to feel the camera for a second. You unsnap it. One of the trade offs uh, of it, though, is that they made that a little bit cooler by adding a decal for the descent stage. Here's our ascent stage. And interestingly, even though they rattle, watch it happen now on camera, they won't fall out. And they came with the, uh, I guess, the thruster nozzles there in place. Um, and I still remember, you know, having this lander as a kid, and these things were one of the first parts that were lost. I chewed on them for a while. Um, and the, the plastic used to, to cast them is also different. And we'll get into it more when I, when I look at the figures. Um, but this is a shinier, I, I call it a waxier plastic. It's harder, this is softer, it's got more of a matte finish to it and is somewhat flexible. Um, same for the figures, for whatever it's worth. But spending Space Bucket Sunday checking out play mats, and somebody right now has a gorgeous Major Matt Mason playing that set with sculpted terrain pieces up on the bay um, that I'm going to ask him for permission. He said, go ahead, post some pictures. So we'll take a look at that soon. Along with all of it. Put them all into the bucket. Space buckets.